All right, the bench press. We all are familiar with it probably, right? But what do the different grips mean? Close grip, normal grip, wide grip. Should we be doing different ones? Should we be changing it up? I'm gonna kind of dive into uh, the few different ones. So first off, let's take a look at the first one. All right, so that first one, the close grip bench press. The close grip really hits the triceps more. It also focuses on the inner portion of the pecs. Now, is it the best one necessarily to do? There's a lot of different opinions on it. It does place more stress on the elbow. It places more stress on the wrist. Usually, if you're gonna try to do that one, go light on the weight. Don't try to crush it. Don't try to do one rep maxes at that weight. It's gonna be a lot more difficult because your triceps are primarily doing most of the brunt of the work. So that is one option. It's good to add in time to time, again, with light weight. All right, the second one is going to be the wide grip. So let's take a look at it. All right, with that wide grip, it's really hitting the shoulders. You can literally feel it. When you go down, you feel it in your shoulder, and it will hit the outward portion of the pec a little bit more than the inside of the pec, as in the close grip. Now, the wide grip is, again, good to throw in maybe once in a while. Again, it is really stressful on the shoulders, so if you have any shoulder issues, I would definitely avoid this one, skip it all together. Uh, but if there's no issues there, again, start off with light weight. You're not trying to crush it on this exercise with a ton of weight. It's just a variation, so you wanna go lighter on it. All right, now let's take a look at the most typical. All right, so that was the normal grip bench press. That's what you should be doing on a regular basis. The regular grip, it really targets everything evenly, but primarily hits that chest. It also involves the shoulders. There's a little bit of tricep involvement. It's just part of the movement. It's all involved. However, it's gonna get you the most impact for your chest out of the three. So you definitely should be doing that one, but don't be afraid to throw the other ones in from time to time because it's always good to change things up. All right, I hope you found this helpful. If so, please hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you wanna see future videos on. And remember above all else, you've got this.